Well, there's a lot to love about this time of year, but there's one thing no one loves, fall allergies. As Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us, this year's allergy season is especially itchy. First of all, welcome. Hello. We're glad to have you in Minnesota. Happy to be here. It's been wonderful so far. And, and wonderful, but a little uncomfortable for WCCO's newest next weather meteorologist. Sneezing, itchy eyes, dry eyes, you name the symptom. I probably have it. Adam Del Rosso just moved from Pennsylvania to Minnesota, where fall allergies are a very real thing. So trees and grasses tend to happen in the spring, and then this pollen happens in the fall. Usually ragweed starts when the nights start to get longer and humidity goes up, and then we've seen higher temperatures lately, and so that really released a lot of um, ragweed into the air. Those higher temps were a lot higher. Instead of 13 90 plus degree days, we've had 32. Scientists are linking hotter temps to longer allergy seasons. Dr. Plachak says this one's already intense. We're starting to see more kids with allergy symptoms and then allergy symptoms that are more severe than years prior. So kids that typically maybe just have a runny nose are coming in with more itchy eyes, itchy ears, cough, and also more asthma exacerbations. She's an allergy sufferer and outdoor lover herself and says her advice may be hard to hear. The biggest things you can do is not track that pollen inside. So take your shoes off, bath and change clothes before bed, uh, keep your windows closed at nighttime despite it being so nice outside. And she says there are an array of medicines for those itching to explore. You still seem optimistic. Oh yeah, this place. I love the outdoors. Like I'm not gonna let the allergies stop me from having a good time and being outside and exploring. I, I can't do it. Good, because there's a lot to see. In West St. Paul, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO News.